Good evening everyone. I'm going to do a quick update on um, what's uh, the direction, the possible direction of, uh, of the market and um, what uh, the, the indicators and oscillators and what the pattern is for um, for the S&P 500, the NASDAQ and the um, small caps which is the Russell 2000 and for all of them I, I will be using the uh, futures because um, they have a little more um, uh, you can see a little better uh, how the, the patterns are forming right now um, so there will be more uh, a better visual for everyone so hopefully uh, it's not going to take me too long so uh, I'm going to start right here with the S&P 500 futures and this is only a two hour chart but this has been since at the beginning of June which we've had um, this major um, move uh, rally or silent rally that, rally that has been uh, being called in the um, in the media now uh, today or earlier today was the uh, the Fed, and we had this is where uh, what's been going on with the Fed, all this uh, erratic movement, um, the volatile movement. Uh, but we never were able to push through the the this this upper upper trend channel. Now, so far, what I see right now, it's all it is is just that uh, bearish rising wedge pattern. Now this is why, let me go ahead and move to the start showing you some of the indicators. The indicators like you can see even though the movement of the, uh, the price is moving higher you're starting to have higher um, higher highs on the on the price. You see uh, lower highs on the MAC, MACD. Um, extreme uh, weakness on the stochastic um, on the on the recent stochastic now, um, Aaron the Aaron oscillator you still we still haven't seen a cross now this again this is only a two hour chart so let's let's go and see what's going on how's the daily chart looking all right um, I'm a little messy like you can see but let me go ahead and s expand some of this stuff and zoom in because this is a head and shoulder pattern that we broke down from uh, we got we crossed the 38 percent retracement um, that I had I talked to you about uh, before uh, for the Fibonacci and my target still lower prices now this is starting to um, get a little overextended which at the same time could be a door edge sore because once it gets a too much overextended, um, it, the rally may actually feed itself. Okay, having said that, I still think that we're going to be going lower because this channel is intact as far as um, we were not able to cross it. And like you can see, we're starting to, in the overnight trading, we're starting to uh, feel the resistance from that upper trend uh, upper trend channel and now we're starting to um, to uh, to head down back down now another um, another of my indicators as far as uh, why I, I believe this is this is truly what's been going on um, is again on the MACD the weakness of the MACD is still in effect um, if you zoom in we st even though we crossed it, uh, the zero, the zero line, we're still looking weakness. We're still starting to see weakness on the um, on the MACD uh, for for the histogram, and we still haven't crossed this downtrend line that I that I pointed out from way back here. So we do have a cross bullish cross. So. It it all depends on it all depends if we if we start consolidating here instead of falling water falling down um, we may 
you may have a change of trend. Now, <clears throat> everything is going to be played out of it, of each other. Okay, so let's look at some other, some of the other um, indices. What the let's see what the other indices are doing. This is the um, Nasdaq futures, and this is the daily chart. Let's zoom out a little bit. Like you can see, the daily chart again. You see the same thing with the uh, with the channel, the downtrend channel. And today we're not able to cross this channel, um, and uh, we're starting to to uh, reject to sp these prices. Um, so we also see a bullish cross for the daily here. So uh, I mean, everything has to, is going to be playing out. It looks like everything is playing out at the same time. So we'll be able to see if this is going to be a consolidation or if we were just going to be just melting uh, down to uh, head, head to uh, to the lower prices to the 50% retracement like I had said before so um, let's look at what see what's going on on the uh, Russell 2000 um, again like you can see same story same exact story you see a downtrend channel and today we're not able to even get to top of the channel now this is a little more interesting because on this uh, Russell 2000 um, let me just do uh, put some notes or text notes all right, so I added this uh, text notes. You have the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder for the uh, for the uh, Russell 2000. Uh, same thing. What happened with the S&P 500? Um, and the funny, um, the interesting part, I guess I should say, the interesting part of this is that we actually we've come back and back tested this uh, neckline that you can see for this pattern um, so if, uh, if this is what I think it is or what I think is really going on um, this this may be a bigger drop than um, I have previously thought because now you're having a um, a more of a um, uh, more of a wider range for for this downtrend line. So you're starting to have a more defined downtrend line, downtrend channel, I should say. So uh, we'll have to see what happens in the next couple of days. Uh, by the end of the week. I should start be a, we should start seeing what what really is going on um, if we start if we see consolidation again instead of the whoosh down like I, um, I had talked to, uh, talked about in the other two for the other two indices now let me just touch real quick on gold because I think gold is doing an interesting is doing something interesting uh, let's go to the weekly now this is gold on the weekly and being going up in this nice nice uh, uptrend channel and what it, we have done since the peak of gold back in the um, let's see in uh, September last last year uh, when we got to 1923 is all we've done is a consolidation a sideways consolidation now um, if we go back to the daily Okay, we've touched this the the bottom of this um, consolidation one two three three four five times so far, and it, we've seen a positive convergence of the MACD and the and the moving averages of the um, the, the MACD. So um, we've had a, a a positive or a bullish crossover. And you're starting to see uh, the stochastic 
push to um, um, to the above 75 area, which uh, which is going to be the overbought area. Sometimes that gives the the movement or the rally even more of a push. So we we will have to see what happens um, here in gold, um, and also um, I believe that we see we can see that uh, we've seen a cross of the moving averages for the uh, 13 day and the 34 moving day moving averages. Uh, that that's also another indication. Uh, a, I guess a positive indication for the uh, for the movement of uh, of gold. So, and finally, I just wanted to look at. Uh, um, let's see, yes, uh, the U.S. dollar, because uh, the U.S. dollar has been doing what I had I've been talking about exactly what I've been uh, has been doing what I talked about before where we came we we had this rally towards this uh, long long term downtrend line and uh, now we're starting to see a rejection of this price now the interesting part is that we are seeing contraction of volume while you see this thing going on right here. To me, what it seems to be going on is a consolidation before we have another move higher. Now, we don't have any confirmation on the MACD moving averages, meaning that this could be a fake out breakout. So, um, we'll. <sighs> This is this is going to be a little a little tricky because of how how do we have confirmation when even though this longer term trend line uh, is getting is getting violated, but uh, some of the other uh, technicals do not confirm that well. The only thing that trumps the negative divergence or the bearish divergence is higher prices. So, if we have some sort of breakout right here out of this consolidation, I will I will be more inclined to believe that we're going to be going to a, a, a higher prices um, because of. Uh, this is such a longer term downtrend line and you will see a breakout with volume especially if it's followed by volume so uh, again this is uh, we're, we're in a very we're in a crossroads right now of everything from the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the small caps, the gold sector, the uh, silver sector, the miners um, miners which are, are, are pushing are, are, are outperforming the uh, the the, uh, the metal um, and and also the the U.S. dollar. So um, we'll just have to keep an eye keep an eye of the markets, keep an eye of uh, on the currencies very very closely. So until next time, thank you for listening. This is Directionalanalysis.com.